Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. A big deal has been made out of Adobe Flash on mobile devices. Apple has been extremely resistant to it because they think that Flash isn't optimized for mobile devices. It can slow down the phone or the iPad in the case of the other iOS device. Uh, and it's just not a good experience for the customer. But Adobe disagrees and they think that the smartphone platform should support Flash because it's so pervasive. It's used on a lot of internet video, a lot of internet games, and it just makes sense if you want to have the full web experience, you should have Flash on a mobile device. Well, guess what? The Motorola Droid 2 is among the first devices to come with Adobe Flash Player Final, meaning this is 10.1, not beta. It's the final version from Adobe and it's also running Android 2.2, so it has the optimized, the best possible Flash experience. In this video, we're gonna test that out and compare four websites, the desktop experience, with how it appears on an Android device that has the final Flash player built in. Should be interesting, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to go through four websites, and the first website here is called Monoface. The web address is mono-1.com slash monoface. Quite simply, it's a mini flash application that lets you change the face of somebody by clicking on their mouth and their nose. It's a lot of fun, kind of a time waster, uh, but it's a good implementation of flash that allows you to have some fun. Wow, that's a scary one. So let's turn on the, uh, the Droid 2 here, and we're going to go to this website and see how it looks on um, on the phone. So let's see, we're gonna go to Monoface and we're over Wi-Fi right now. Let me go into landscape. So it says tap to interact. Okay, well, it looks like it's already loading. Okay, and here we are, the same site on desktop on phone. And we can interact with this, or at least we should be able to tap on various aspects. The mouth is changing, as you can see, the the hair is changing, the nose is changing. This is a really good implementation of Flash. It works perfectly on the mobile device, just like you would expect on the desktop. So definitely a big win here. That is also a very ugly face um, for Monoface. Now let's go to a different website. We're gonna pull up another favorite here on the desktop or on the laptop. We're gonna go to a site called toadvanced.com. It's just a really Flash heavy website with menu navigations, with sound. In fact, if I turn on the sound over here, you'll be able to hear. Okay, and so it's got sound, it's got drop-down menus. It's a really advanced Flash website. Let's see how uh, Android does with that. So we're going to go back into the favorites. And here it is, too advanced. And let's let that load. Sound is turned on. Okay, so you should be hearing the sound. Let me turn it up. If I tap and hold, I should get the full screen option. So far, so good. There we go, full screen. And let's see the extent to which we can manipulate things on the screen. Hmm, that's not working out too well. Let's see. Now we can zoom in a little bit. Okay, the drop-down menu navigation is working. Let's go to portfolio or company, about us, executive team. So presumably things are changing on the screen. That's tough to tell unless we zoom out. Okay, so we just did something. So in this case, if you have a little bit of patience, you get the same experience or a very similar experience um, on, the, on mobile than you do on the web. So this is another good implementation of Flash and it works quite nicely on uh, a mobile device. So let's go to the next website, number three out of four. We're going to go to a website called section7.com. Again, a very flash intense website with graphics that definitely toll the CPU. And we're gonna see how the Droid 2 handles this website. So quite simply, what we do is go down here to open and we get this big animation with these different books that go by. And what you do is you tap on one of these and you get a portfolio of projects. Very, very intense. Let's see how um, the Droid 2 handles this. So we're gonna go to section7.com, go into landscape. Sorry if you're getting some reflection there. Okay, so we're getting the similar sort of animation already. Let's see if we can get this full screen before it even starts. Here we go.
Okay, we should see the, the fanning out of the pages if this is going to be true to the desktop form. So something's happening up oh, there it goes. Very good. Very good. So we should be able to scroll to the right. It's a little bit slow and I should tap on a book and it should open. It's not working. This is one of the websites that doesn't actually work as intended because it's just not optimized properly for a mobile device. And so if we go back and try to interact with the site, it just it's just not working too well. And don't even try to open up another tab while you're on something this flash intense uh, because it's really tolling the RAM and the CPU of the device. So here's an example where flash doesn't work. I just, I can't interact with the elements. It's just not made for the mobile device. So let's try one more thing here. We're gonna try something that's more interactive. We're gonna go to miniclips.com, which is an online gaming site, which is all free flash games. So for example, we click on any of these and we're brought to a flash page and it says mini clip and we can just demonstrate real quickly how this works on the laptop okay so let's play and i'll just click on anything how to play go by the way there is sound anyway so i can click on stuff and interact although i have no idea what i'm doing so let's get a game up on the Droid 2 from Mini Clips. So again, we're going to go into the favorites and pull that up. Here it is. And let's go into landscape. And let's see how Flash games work on the Droid 2 with Chaz again uh, for the final Adobe Flash player. So here we go. We have the desktop view loading right now. I'm going to scroll in a little bit and click on, uh, let's see, Mm, this game here. Okay. Okay, something's happening. Okay, here we go. Let's go full screen on this. You can see that this is a flash element. Hmm, something happened there. Let's go back. Just let it load in, in this frame. Okay, play. Level select. So far, so good, right? So we'd love to get this full screen. It's not working full screen. If we can zoom out. Hmm. Here we go, full screen. So right now, uh, it's not being very responsive because it's probably using a lot of the CPU and the RAM. So here we go, full screen. There we go, here we go. Okay, so level one is cleared. I didn't even do anything yet. So let's see how we proceed. Next level, there we go. So you adjust the, you adjust the, uh, the aim here. Tip, press spacebar to immediately, I wonder if spacebar works, let's see. Spacebar. I don't know what that does. I don't really know what I'm doing, but as you can see, you can interact with the Flash games. It takes a little bit of uh, knowing how to actually play the game to get it to work. But you can see that it is responsive, it's a little bit slow and laggy at times, um, but the functionality is absolutely there. So let's get out of this. So overall, as you've seen, Flash on the Motorola Droid 2, really the best implementation of Flash that Adobe can muster, although you can argue that the Google Nexus 1 may be able to do better, is quite good at this point. When we saw it when it was in beta, it was horrible, it was slow, it was laggy, it just didn't work right. Uh, in fact, we went to Pocket Now, and because Pocket Now has some Flash advertisements, it slowed down the site tremendously to the point where we couldn't scroll down the page. But in this case, probably thanks to a lot of software optimization and thanks to uh, a fast CPU and enough RAM, Flash works quite well, finally, on a mobile device. It's not perfect. And so here we have pocketnow.com. There are some Flash ads at the top. I'm gonna let it finish loading and I'll scroll down the page and give you a sense of how fast scrolling is with Flash Elements. Okay, so here we go. These are some Flash ads. You'll see an animation over there and up there. Let's check out scrolling. It's a lot smoother than it was. It's not perfect. You can turn off flash, of course, by going into the settings and disabling plugins. 
but uh, you probably know how to do that if you have an Android des device. But in the end, Flash on Android has gotten good enough to where you can leave plugins enabled and actually use Flash almost like you're using a regular desktop computer. It's not quite as good. Um, and it, when we start to get faster processors, dual core processors and smartphones and even more RAM, it'll become even better. So, so far, so good. If you like this video, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more smartphone videos. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.